What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're just doing a little kind of like haul review type thing of all the um, Comic Con like pop honey type stuff that I did. So this is um, like just showing you what I got and everything. Um, but I'm doing this now because I was, I was just wanting to wait for it to get like stuff in through the mail and everything. I didn't want to, you know, do a video before I got everything, so that's why it's doing it this week. So this is stuff I got um, for Comic Con, so like the Comic Con Pops Plus. Um, other random stuff I got during um, hunting um, for sh or shopping for the Comic Con stuff. So first we're going to start off with Supreme Leader Snoke from Star Wars. So this is number 182 from the Force Awakens set. And so here we have the holographic Snoke in the chair. And so this is a six inch pop and it glows in the dark. And as you can see it's got the convention um, 2017 summer convention exclusive. Um, so this was sold through Amazon and I was able to um, get it ordered and arrive and everything through Amazon. So we'll go ahead and open the box here. So here is Snoke himself. It's hard to see with the lighting and him just being all blue, but you can kind of see his face with all the scars um, going across his head and on his face and like his um, cheeks and everything. And then of course, um, he's uh, sitting in his chair. As you can see, kind of looks like a, um, the big Abraham Lincoln in Washington or whatever, but he does come off the stand just like all the other pops do, which I think uh, that's kind of weird. So of course it has a Star Wars stand, and then it looks like he can almost come out of the seat, but I think it's just not glued correctly. Um, but this is really cool, and it, like I um, said, it glows in the dark, which obviously it's too bright to do any <laughs> glow in the dark stuff. But that is really cool, and I just had to get it because I like the six inch pop, plus another character that I don't have. Um, and it glows in the dark and so there's a lot of stuff about it that made me want to get it. So there's Supreme Leader Snoke. So next up we're going to move on to Power Rangers and we of course got the Megazord. Um, so again this is the um, Comic Con exclusive Megazord. So I don't know exactly what's exclusive about it if it's just that it was released at Comic Con. But I've heard they're going to you know, re-release this possibly so I don't know exactly. Um, if it's just an early release exclusive or what. But I was able to get this um, by luck, I would say. I wasn't able to find it in a store. Like, we do have a Think Geek, which is where this was an exclusive to. Um, and so I went to Think Geek on um, the day of Comic Con that these came out. And they said they only got a couple and were sold out. And of course, I was like, well, I'll just have to wait to be luckily, um, lucky if one, it comes out again, like I just said or if I um, have to order it offline or something like, like find someone selling it. But then I went to our um, comic book shop to buy our weekly comics and they had one and they were holding it for me because they know my love of Power Rangers and that they wanted to see if I needed this first before they sold it to everyone else. So here we have the Power Ranger uh, Megazord and it looks so cool. Um, so here of course we have the giant head in pop form as you would imagine. So it's got the horns and the like little fin on the top of the head. And then of course we go down into the chest plate of the pterodactyl and of course the body of the um, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Then we have the Mastodon arms, the saber tooth um, and Triceratops legs. And of course I like how they even put on the back they have the like guns from the Mastodon. And they just put a lot of detail into this and I love it. And this is so cool. I was so happy that um, the comic book store actually was holy, like actually had this and that I got it. The box isn't the best, but it's either the um, damage box or not at all. So I'm so glad that I got that. And to go along with it, which is not a um, Comic-Con exclusive, but I did find the FYE um, Red Ranger with the um, Dragon Shield. So if you can like see in there, he has um, the Green Ranger's sh shield on his chest. And so that's what this is an exclusive for to FYE. And so I was happy to find this because I've been looking for it since I knew it was out. And I've checked multiple times and um, they have yet to have it. So here we got the Red Ranger and again he has um, the shield there uh, from the Green Ranger. So the dragon shield. And then they have his uh, the dragon dagger on his side too which is cool. So I really like this and of course this is a Red Ranger in the original form. So with his arms down to the side and not the current um, posing action that I have. So that's cool that that is the um, older style. So it was awesome to get that. And then along with Power Rangers, so we have a couple Power Rangers things here. Next up we did get this, um, the White Ranger um, Jada Metals, or Diecast Metal figures. And this was an exclusive uh, Comic-Con exclusive and this was at GameStop. 
Um, so I, I had no clue about this at all. Like obviously I have the rest of the setup here and if you've seen some, oops, sorry, I can't point to it. Um, but if you've seen some of the most recent videos, this has been in the background because obviously I've had it since um, it came out. And so I, like I said, no clue about it until I was you know, shopping and I saw it and I was like, that is so awesome. I got to have it to go with the rest of my figures. So there we have the White Ranger. Of course, his helmet, chest plate. Um, he has a sheath for Saba down here, Saba in his hand, which looks awesome, and I just love it so much. And then our last Power Ranger thing for the um, Comic-Con is this um, Toys R Us exclusive set. I had no clue about these, but they are, um, I don't know what they're even called, uh, Micromorphins, capsule figures, I guess is what they're called. And this is an exclusive, so it says um, one of two, 2,250 and then these are just uh, like see-through figures is what makes them exclusive. So of course we have the um, red Zio, the pink from the movie, um, the ninja steel, red ninja steel, Goldar, and the uh, dino charge there at the end. But as you can see on the back, this is all the series that they have. So you can get all the same ones, um, just not in the see-through. Um, so I won't be opening these because I will look for the actual ones. Um, so I'll just, I'm just going to leave this. And so it says, yeah, convention exclusive translucent edition it's hard to see with the lighting but there um so yeah i'm just gonna keep this set in the box so like i said i had no clue about it i was online searching because my brother wanted something that we did order but then of course came back that it was canceled so he was upset about that but since i was ordering that i went ahead and i saw this so like oh, i'll just buy it mostly for um goldar and the red zeo ranger but i did see on the back they have like the white ranger and then of course the um, original yellow, the blue Zio, so I want to get all those figures. So that's going to be it for Power Rangers. Um, next up, we're going to move over to some superhero stuff. So we have the Walgreens exclusive, uh, or Comic Con exclusive, Captain America, and this is um, when Bucky Barnes, so Bucky or his friend, the Winter Soldier, as some of you may know him, took over the mantle of Captain America, I believe after his death. Um, that happened, I forget when the exact time was. Um, but of course, me being a Captain America fan and having almost, almost every Captain America pop they've made, I wanted this really bad. Of course, I love the Bucky Captain America. And so when I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. And I was lucky enough to get to order it off the um, Walgreens website because none of our Walgreens around here sell the exclusive pops and stuff. So it's just the normal Captain America, but the only difference is, is he, of course, has like the V-shape, and then from there down, it's just all black instead of his normal colors. And so, once again, so happy that I was able to find that and get that. Um, next up, we will go with, and we'll go to start with the exclusive, but we got the Batman the Animated Series Man Bat, so this was an exclusive to GameStop. Now, I don't have these in the box because I um, just wanted the figures themselves. I don't care about the collectability or anything like that. Um, I just like the way these look. And so we got the Man Bat, which like I said was um, exclusive at GameStop. And so I was able to get this. Um, I was lucky enough because I passed it up on the first day on accident. I wasn't thinking about it. And then we went to another GameStop the next day and they had it. So um, I was able, um, it was the last one too. So I was able to pick up Man Bat, which I love that so much. Then I also got some of the other Batman, the Unmade series um, villains. So I also got Bane which again looks super cool. We got Clayface, which is um, giant. I wish he was like the six or 10 inch ones. I guess six would be more likely. Um, but he's still pretty big compared to um, the other figures. So as you can see, height, he's still taller. Um, of course, he just looks like a giant mud pile with yellow eyes and teeth. So he looks awesome. And then my, one of my favorite um, villains is Scarecrow. And I love this Scarecrow so much. And of course, he just looks like a normal Scarecrow, as you'd see, like in fields and everything. But it's so cool. I love that. And to cap off all this Comic-Con shopping haul and stuff, I got one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Bob or Bulbasaur. Venusaur. Um, so Bulbasaur and Venusaur are my two favorite uh, Pokemon. And I was able to find this um, giant stuff plushie thing. I have a bunch of these. I now have uh, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur all together now. Um, but they did have a Comic-Con exclusive, uh, Tyranitar, which I did not get because I'm tr only trying to stick with, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon since they're my favorite. But I saw Venusaur and I knew I just had to have them. And so I got this at the same stores, shopping at all the other exclusives. 
But that's going to be it for this Comic-Con 2017 pop haul and other assortment of items. Um, but if you enjoyed any, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was that I got or what you got from the Comic-Con exclusives and hunting and everything. And be sure to subscribe to see more. And we'll see you next time.